tell us your story. Tell us how you feel about what's going on. Show us what you think about being at the border and where you're going. That's all we asked him then. We had the help of Simi Alvarado, who is a muralist in El Paso. And he talked to those children. He said, this is you telling your story. If your heart's hurting, you show it in these pictures. You show us. And we're going to keep these and we're going to use them for an art show. The first group of about 10 or 12 paintings are what they left. Their beautiful farms, their flowers, their family, their animals, their houses. Some kids focused on their journey through the desert. Every one of those pictures had a big, hot sun. There was one picture. She has two little bags in her hands, and she has tears coming down her cheeks. And she told us that she was raped. So she's carrying her bags through the desert, and crying. And crying. And then the next one was what you expect when you get there. Every one of them had green on the other side of a river with the U.S. flag flying above, above it, with people that were happy and, you know, they, they had so much hope for what happened once they got to the U.S. And then the last group was what you found when you got there. And that's where it was heartbreaking. Yeah, the reality. And that one painting that there's people standing on the edge of the river and looking at each other going, what do we do, what do we do? And then in the river, the father had the baby with the great big eyes in the river and then reaching for the mother that was face down and floating. And then on the shore with a huge wall in front of them were two people standing there looking at each other going, what do we do? Because on the other side of the river, everybody's being gunned down. It was just heartbreaking to look at this picture and, and no child should ever see what they saw. The very last one that we used was a painting of a heart and it had a big patch on it and we asked the girl about it and she said, my heart is breaking and I'm trying to hold it together. I just feel like what we're doing in this country, if we can give them a hug and go, somebody cares. You know, there are 55 kids that they know somebody cares. People that don't speak Spanish care. But we should all be outraged at what's going on there. It's so awful that we don't want to look at it. I mean, it's like, if, if you could haiku it down to one thing, it's like, come on, you guys, compassion. Yeah. Compassion for people. These are human beings. You no, know, we're not going to save everybody. We can, can give love. Love's free. I knew when I went down there. I knew it was going to change me. It was like, woo, it did.